Hello lovelies, my name is Julie Demi, I'm a Cambridge Certified English Teacher and a Teacher Trainer. In these sessions I share with you how to become better teachers and how to make your educational process a more pleasant experience. Today we're going to talk about active recall and how to introduce it into your everyday life. So let's get started! First things first, we need to understand what active recall stands for. Active recall is the principle of effective learning, which claims the need to actively stimulate memory during the learning process. In general, active recall is based on the retrieval of the information. It contrasts with the passive review, in which you just reread or rewatch some information, and then, despite the fact you dedicate a lot of time, you can't come up with the expected results. In active recall, you need to have the question and find the answer very quickly in your mind. People tend to think that when they reread their notes or when they rewatch something, it's somehow the repetition that can bring about to positive results. Yes, there is some effect after doing these activities. However, there are better ways of retaining information for a longer period of time in your memory. And one of them is testing. So when you have some cards where you have the question which you need to answer and on the other side you have the answer itself, this is something what can be considered as an active recall. When you have a look at the question that you have on one side of the card and try to answer it immediately in your mind, possibly producing it in written or spoken way, which will be really beneficial, and then you can compare your answer with the right answer, which is on another side. At the same time, if you can't come up with the right answer, you can easily repeat this information. At another time, when you apply active recall, you will see that you will retain more information and you will be able to retrieve more information. Active recall is based on the production of output after receiving some input. Human beings are really very lazy creatures. We try to choose something easier, for instance, rereading or probably rewatching some lecture, though the magic happens when you produce this information. Well, there are many ways of how to do that, but there are two most effective ones. The first one is cards. When you have flashcards and when you work with Anki, Notion and Quizlet, even if you use the paper cards, which are relatively time-consuming to produce, but in any case not less effective, these are the ways how you can introduce active recall into your everyday life. And you will see that with spaced repetition, and with some distributed learning, you will see some particular benefits of this approach. The second way of introducing active recall into your life is to read a paragraph, close the book and try to produce as much information as you can remember. This is some sort of summary, but at the same time, you try to use your memory actively. If you are a great supporter of note-taking like me, I would suggest to do the following thing. Read some paragraph, close the book, or an article and try to reproduce information that you have just read. On the one hand, you will see what you have just learned and you will see what you can easily retrieve. On the other hand, you will keep this information in your head and you will actively stimulate your memory during this process. Alternatively, you can close the book after reading and try to reproduce the information in the form of the mind map. I know that many of my students like this approach and it helps very well. Depending on the information that you need to retrieve and the subject, one approach or another might be more effective. Personally, I'm a big fan of Notion, Anki and Quizlet. I use Notion for writing some questions. Then I use Toggle where I can write the answer to the question. And whenever I don't know the answer while reviewing, I can easily press the Toggle and I can see the right answer, which eases the retrieval process. Quizlet is really very helpful when there are some definitions in the meanings and I need to work with terms, definitions in one way or another. I remember when I was preparing for a Delta module one Cambridge exam. I created the set of cards with the terms on the one side and definitions on the other side. Then I shuffled the cards and I used different approaches that they offered in order to train and stimulate my memory. And after four or five times of this active recall, I remember it helped me 
store this information for a longer period of time and I performed well in the exam. Many of my students use Anki for learning the new vocabulary, no matter which tool you use, whether it is an ordinary paper card or a digital alternative. I definitely recommend using Active Recall and introducing it into your life will make the whole process of learning a better experience. This review should take place several times. One time is not enough. Ideally, Active Recall should go hand in hand with spaced repetition because you have have some exposure to active stimulation of your memory. And if you do this just once, it doesn't work very well. You need to expose yourself to this stimulation several times. And how to choose the best frequency? That's something what we are going to talk about in my upcoming video about space repetition. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you found this video helpful, please like it. I wish you good luck. Bye!